Hi, this is your five minute geography lesson. We're covering theme one, element three, V-shaped valleys. Books out on the desk. I'm Mr. S and I'll be your five minute teacher. In the upper course of the river, the river valley is described as being V-shaped. So the river is really small, and the land around it is very steep. But before we get into that, let's have a look at what an upper course actually is. Well, when we're talking about an upper course or a middle course or a low course, we're talking about the long profile of the river. So by that we mean we're looking at how the river gets from its source, where it starts, down to the mouth where it ends, at the sea. The upper course, the river is smaller, it's in the uplands area, so it's going to be hilly and mountainous, and the river changes as it goes down. How it changes is described by the cross section or the cross profile. So this is like taking a cut straight through the middle of the river at around this point. So we can see that the sides of the valley are really steep. The river itself is really small, but it takes up the majority, if not all, of the bottom or the base of the valley. And then that changes as we go downstream. But we'll look at these in a bit more detail in another lesson. So let's have a look at a V-shaped valley, which we find in the upper course of the river. Well, from this photograph that you've also got in your revision guide, you can see the V-shape that we're talking about here. Steep sides, and the actual base of the valley is not very flat. It comes to a point, and the base of that valley has the river flowing in it. The river isn't very deep, it isn't very wide. So why is it like that? Well, we've got a lot of gravita gravitational potential energy, so it's high up, so it's got a lot of energy that's all going to be pulling downwards. So the erosion is going to be happening at the base or the bed of the river, pulling it down over. So this valley is the shape that it is because the river is eroded down over and pulled it down. So this vertical erosion has made the channel deeper. Well, it's made the valley deeper and the channels went with it. There are other erosional processes happening as well, so we've got this weathering happening. So freeze form biological, which we're going to come on to again in another lesson, but freeze form is effectively water getting into cracks and freezing, and it weakens the rock. Biological would be more around the roots of trees and uh, plants getting into the cracks and breaking them up. This means that chunks of rock, pebbles, stones end up loose and inside the river channel itself, so you can see some evidence of that here. We've also got interlocking spurs. So here's an example here. Not a very good example. There's a one, another one over here which is the better one. So instead of the river cutting straight through, it's went around more resistant rock in a meander and a turn in the river. So what ends up happening is the river does a lot of zigzag patterns around the more resistant rock. And it gives it that look that you only find in the upper course of the valley. These are what we call interlocking spurs. And that is effectively it in a nutshell for a uh, V-shaped valley. So that's it for today. But continue your revision by completing the Now Try It task for homework. Class dismissed.